A YouTuber named Miguel Alvarez is racing down the road at high speeds for a very good reason. He catches up to a red car and immediately gets the driver's attention. Hey! It's on fire! It's on fire! The flames quickly crawl up the vehicle and soon reach the engine. What you see here is the end result just before firefighters arrived and contained the blaze. It looks bad, but things could have been way worse. The woman could have still been inside of this vehicle. If not for the heroic actions of Miguel Alvarez and his friends, this doll is supposed to cry and crawl by itself, but it's not supposed to contort itself into bone-breaking positions while doing so. The crying piece of plastic continues to pop its limbs out of place when a stunned family records in amazement. Some commenters are sure that this strange display is an early warning sign from malevolent spirits. I personally am curious if this YouTuber experienced any other strange events after this happened. If you have any more information about this video, or if this is some kind of common defect with this type of doll, then I would definitely like to know about it. From voices to semi-transparent figures, baby monitors have been known to throw off all types of creepy vibes. This is amongst the creepiest. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, the OP writes, I'm 96% sure we caught a ghost on camera, pulling on my almost two-year-old son's leg while he was sleeping in his crib. The scary video shows the baby lying face down in his crib, both of his legs tucked near the bars. At first, the baby's left leg looks like it's being repeatedly pulled toward and even through the bars, but this could just be the baby himself sticking his feet there. But then all of a sudden, the baby's leg is lifted upwards, beyond the scope of ordinary baby abilities. It folds and is even bent at the knee and pulled backward. The leg is then extended out, then yanks behind its other leg and pulled between the bars. It's pulled upwards and back again, bent at the knee. This is done repeatedly until the leg is yanked so far backward that it seems to wake the baby up. He throws his head back and then pulls both legs beneath him. All the while, a strange white orb roams across the screen, floating above him. Some in the comments even say it seems to move in sync with the pulling of the leg. Most Redditors are terrified in the comments. Others think the ghost may have been trying to flip the baby over. So he wasn't sleeping on his stomach. But myself and nearly everyone agrees with Redditor Malin who writes, Straight up the most convincing ghost video I've ever seen. Ghost Club Paranormal is spending the night at a cursed witch's cabin in the middle of the forest and you better believe that terror unfolds. While attempting to commune with the spirits, they hear them walking overhead. How many people are here? Do you hear that? The spirit then confirms its presence. Upstairs. If that was somebody trying to communicate, can you do that again? When they set up the spirit box, several paranormal devices are triggered. Oh, that light just came on. I just got it. <laughs> are you sitting over by the bar? Oh, oh, me too. They question the spirits and are answered. Did a man die here? And then the spirits start playing games. Let's uh, go downstairs again and we'll take this a little fast with it. Hey. But, <gasps> you did see that, right? Did you touch that? I didn't even touch it. Did, are you I me didn't, right I, didn't, I didn't touch it. Now. 
Later, as one of the crew turns on the spirit box, the flashlight dims. I'm gonna stick this on again real fast. The spirits are descending. But we have heard a man. And they continue to communicate through lights. What does that matter? Oh. Whoa. Second I put this on night vision, that flashlight just started going like crazy. And taps. Was that she that just touched my head? Tapping again. Is this the witch trying to get closer to them, or one of the witch's victims? This footage was taken after hours by a staff member on a college campus in North Yorkshire. It was shot through a classroom window and shows the outline of a person attentively studying at a computer, seemingly without knowing that they were being filmed. The only problem is that no one else should have been in the building at the time. The video could be CGI, or it could be the actual weightless black mass of a real ghost. A lot of people want to know where the line is when art goes too far, and the answer is when your painting starts moving by itself. Oh. There's no loud construction sending vibration through the walls, no jets overhead, no trains, just a picture bouncing against the wall. Maybe they put a magnet on the picture, and a magnet of the same pole on the other side of the wall to make them repel. Or maybe they should just move like he says. Being a pilot can seem like a glamorous job, but sometimes it's downright terrifying. YouTuber Don MCL one published this video in October of 2006. The clip shows a jet taking taking off from a runway, but soon sirens start sounding off, while the aircraft's nose points skyward. Lots of talk back and forth over the radio is indecipherable. The nose then pans sideways, clearly indicating the aircraft is out of control. Over the radio, you can hear someone mention engine failure. Right before someone says eject, 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 as the nose of the plane turns downward. Shortly after, the plane nose dives and the footage scrambles. While the description of this video doesn't reveal much about the incident, Kiwi Jet Pilot in the comments section appears to be quite knowledgeable about what happened here. First off, he clears up the description of the plane, saying it's not an F-16 but a Canadian-flown British-built BAE Hawk. He states that this occurred in May of 2004 in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, during a UK Royal Air Force crew training mission, but this video shows they survived by the skin of their teeth, a little too close for comfort. A video of a human torso walking upright is probably one of the scariest home CCTV moments I've ever seen caught on tape. The main reason it looks so terrifying is because this is mostly a marionette puppet instead of CGI, which requires more work but looks more realistic. Somebody is most likely pulling its strings from above to make it walk, or at least I hope so. What would you do if you came across this chilling scene at night? Well, because there's a sign on the side of the road that reads, Free Cat. If it's there to lure unsuspecting people in, it's done its job. As these three stop their car to check out the makeshift animal shelter, as the trio approach the sign, they realize they're looking at something truly horrifying on a dark, deserted road at night. They conclude that whoever did this put the cats there because they're psycho. Couldn't agree more. Get out of there as fast as humanly possible. Ilgen Pudding of the South Korean YouTube channel, Ghost Horror Diary, has a creepy video with an important message. Ilgen wants to prove that ghost hunting is not a men's only activity and that she can be just as brave. She goes exploring an abandoned building all by herself, a haunted place where paranormal energy pours forth from the entrance. Now, this lone ghost hunter starts to catch some very interesting things on video. <laughs> now, 
Next, she captures this. A scary, smiling ghost face makes her recoil in horror. She presses on down a hidden hallway teeming with paranormal energy, and at the top of some stairs is a really weird painting that she zooms in on. Something about this place, the painting, the room, feels haunted. No more than this, she says, and walks back down. I would like to know more about this painting if anybody happens to recognize it, or anything about the scene it's portraying. It looks like somebody in knight's armor is raising a shield in the air at a podium with someone kneeling behind them. But that's all I can tell. Oh, and there's one more thing that's scary. On the floor of another room is a handwritten sign with this message that freaks her out. Who left it here and what does it say? A man in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, encounters what he calls a zombie sighting when he sees a stationary figure stare at him without moving. Not even loud music or oncoming headlights are enough to make him step aside or respond. I'm pretty sure that this person has a major problem that they need to get help for, but this would still be beyond creepy to see late at night especially considering the next driver might not be paying enough attention to swerve out of the way. A very sad situation indeed. If you saw someone in a window just standing and staring, what would you think? Would you consider it abnormal? Would you be concerned about their mental state? These Lithuanians saw this strange staring man as cause for concern when they posted this video to their YouTube channel. Reposted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Martillo, the Redditor writes, Couple of Lithuanian YouTubers are driving with other couple friends around the city and they come across this strange guy in his apartment. They're saying that he maybe is possessed. The windows in the building across from the Lithuanian's car are all darkened. Apart from one brightly lit window on the second floor, there stands a man appearing to stare out into the night, oddly still. Upon closer inspection, the man looks like he's rolling his head around before turning to the side and staring off again. He stares forward for a time, this having gone on for a solid minute, before turning around and switching off the light in his apartment likely because he notices the men outside are shining their light up at his window, watching him. Martillo notes that although the men in the video are laughing, the image of someone staring out their window blankly is somewhat scary. He says the behavior is strange. Well, that may be so. You could argue the same for the behavior of the occupants of this car. Can two separate security cameras glitch at once? Or is this The Matrix Revisited? Posted to the very spooky video subreddit, a woman in Colombia appears to have vanished, and her vanishing act was captured from two angles. From one angle, she is walking down the sidewalk. She pauses for a moment, then walks a bit more before suddenly zapping from view. A second video captures her at an angle from the front. Again, she walks forward before disappearing into thin air at the corner of the sidewalk. Did she just tell teleport to another dimension? Some in the comments think this was just CCTV taking photos every few seconds, which were sped up for viewing. That way the girl could have disappeared in the so-called vanishing act. Others think this girl obviously has the gift of invisibility. What do you think is going on here? Let me know in the comments. Beware of the shadows. When at Donovan Mill, the historic mining site in Silver City, Nevada, has a reputation, and it's not a good one. At least one documented incident of someone taking their own life has been recorded there. Perhaps it's the spirit from this unfortunate history that lingers in the mill. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Facts by James TV writes, at 24 minutes 30 seconds, you could see a shadow-like figure down the hallway. At the very same space, it is known to be haunted by a spirit named John that is very protective about that area. 
at the timestamp in question. You can see what James is talking about. He said he felt a presence, so they stopped and shined the flashlight down at the end of the hall. A small shadow figure appears there. Casting light down that way doesn't make it disappear. What do you think about this creepy catch? Would you have the guts to venture down the hall to investigate? A YouTuber named Blake M thinks he accidentally recorded a strange message while filming himself on the side of the road. Listen carefully and see if you can hear it for yourself. The message is very brief, so if you didn't hear it, then turn up your volume and listen to this version with subtitles. Right around when Blake smooths over his hair, you can hear a distant voice suddenly say, Help me, in an urgent tone. It's possible that he edited in this voice later, or maybe it was someone yelling from a passing car, but if not, then this could be evidence of someone asking for help from the afterlife. Officially shuttered since 1987, it was just announced in February that this century-old building will soon be demolished. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Ryan McCollister and originally published to a YouTube channel of the same name, this paranormal team is making one last visit to the old Three Rivers Hospital in Michigan. As they make their way through a doorway, a creepy baby voice is heard in the background. Hey, blue cheese. Yeah, no. Look at that smiley face down there. That's creepy. Let's see if I can see it. There you go. Ew, look at all how dirty the air is down there. Many in the comments think it's not a baby but a cat. Others think it sounds like the lens focusing. But several Redditors agree that it sounds like a baby. Sparkling Duckling writes, Those smiling graffiti faces. Artists tried to stop the ghost baby from crying. Unsuccessfully. I think the biggest question now is what's going to happen to all these spirits after this building is demolished? Plane is heading to Jamaica when a much smaller object zooms by at an equal rate of speed, if not faster. It's hard to tell what this fast-moving sighting could possibly be, but I doubt it's another plane off in the distance, because air control makes sure that the planes always fly far away from each other, and usually at different altitudes. Whatever this is, if it had made contact with the plane while traveling at such a high rate of speed, I'm almost positive no one would have survived. Give me your best guess as to what you think this was. I will say that I have found other similar videos taken by YouTubers flying over Jamaica, so maybe there is something strange, mysterious, and unsolved about the airspace over that region in general. A haunted home in Italy that has been the subject of many failed exorcisms has some incredible paranormal activity caught on tape that almost has to be trick photography. Tell me how this was done before I wake up screaming tonight. It almost looks too well done to be computer editing. Kenny Brown, 17, posted this video of his dog Lola sensing a ghostly presence in his home in 2013. At the start of the clip, the dog is seen backing nervously out of the kitchen into the hallway. It then turns to walk out into the hall. The dog is a tripper, the YouTuber says. There's something in the kitchen that's freaking her out. He goes into the kitchen to investigate, and there seems to be nothing at all. The dog peeks her head out from the hallway again, and her owner says that she wants to eat, but she's too paranoid to enter the kitchen. What is she seeing in there? She then walks cautiously around the corner and lays on her dog bed in the living room. She lays there for a time, but then gets up and heads into the hallway once again. She creeps back into the kitchen and looks as though she may be over her fear. Watch. She's back out. Look. and she eats a bit of her food, but the courage lasts only a moment as the dog again cautiously walks backwards out of the kitchen, looking fearfully at something. She darts back into the hallway. 
She heads back in again to eat more of her food, only to back out again. Looking the whole while at the same spot, she cannot remove her eyes from whatever is making her so fearful. She looks around the corner one last time, but won't risk going in there again. So what is Lola afraid of? Some in the comments section of this video think it's the frequencies in the television that are affecting her. Both make sense, but likely only one is the real answer. Outside of their apartment, a husband and wife capture a strange reflection in the window that is too curious to ignore. They grab an infrared camera, and this mysterious, unexplained video is what they've caught on tape. Yeah. Well, it says like I'm sitting with an old woman. There's nobody sitting there. Yeah, nobody. Isn't that bizarre. At the very beginning of this video, three seconds in to be precise, a full zoom does appear to have caught a possibly real ghost sighting on video in greater detail. You can discern a tuft of her white hair, the folds of her robe, her older looking face, and what direction she is facing. There's. As soon as they turn on the lights for a better look, the figure is gone. Same window. Same window, and there's nothing there now, no matter what I do. These are. And when he switches the camera back into infrared mode, the mode he first detected the spirit with, it does not return. There's infrared. Right there, I know. I know, right on that side. It's back to normal. There's just nothing there. It's almost as if nothing was ever there to begin with, and yet the paranormal evidence caught on camera proves at one point there was. Maybe they were holding something up to the glass to make it reflect this image and took it away, though I don't know what that something would be. Ghost investigations are even scarier in another language. In this video posted to YouTube in December of 2018, ghost investigators attempt to infiltrate an abandoned house that we can only guess is haunted. At least it looks that way. While exploring the home, the investigator keeps hearing things moving, debris being unsettled, and from the way he's jerking his camera around, it seems he's sensing movements around him. <sighs> What is in this home with him? The place appears as though someone just picked up and laughed. It's covered with debris and looks like it was abandoned in a state of chaos. While creeping around some upstairs room, the ghost investigators appear to sense someone or something, and that something grabs a hold of him. It's clear he's struggling with a force in the home. He tossles with it and for a moment is dragged backwards by the force before he escapes, racing out of there like his life depends on it, which it probably does. What is going on in this video? Is there any explanation as to what pulled this ghost investigator backwards? It certainly looks real to me. For fear of knowing, don't answer. After all, I don't think 99% of people could handle the answer. What is all? This security camera caught some very unsettling footage. Published by Blah Blah in March of 2020, a camera monitoring a baby captured what looks like a near taking by a demon. The baby is being pulled backward by something invisible, prompting some in the comments to believe that demons are afoot. At the start of the video, the infant is tossing and turning on a mattress on the floor. The clip cuts, and she is later seen on the floor, having somehow made it off of the mattress. It's unclear if the baby was moved there by force, or of her own volition. As she cries, it appears as though one of her legs is being pulled, and she inches slowly backward. She doesn't appear to be in control of her movement. As she is pulled, she continues to cry. When at last, she is yanked out of view. What is reeling this poor child in? Is it a demon fishing for fresh souls or some other bad entity? Sosa 37 posted this spooky video of her dog in 2017. 
In the description of the video, she wrote, They always say animals can see spirits. My dog was barking at nothing in the room. She wasn't looking at the TV screen. And you can see her move her head suddenly at the 9 second mark. At first, it appears as though the dog is perhaps barking at her own reflection in the television in front of her, but it becomes clear that the dog is looking at something to the right of the TV. And then, as the YouTuber noted, the dog jerks its head suddenly and jumps up, looking above the television. <coughs> She starts growling and barking more as she gazes upwards. The camera scans where she is looking off to the side of the room, and there's absolutely nothing there. The dog then gets up from its seated position, continuing to growl and bark, and looking still at a spot to the right of the TV. The dog is acting aggressively and defensively, and although her owner remains calm and asks the dog what's wrong, only she seems to know that something is very wrong. What is she seeing in the void? A YouTuber named Barbecue Thunder 7 watches in awe as huge chunks of hail fall from the sky, landing with the force of solid rock. When it finally starts to calm down, he summons his courage and steps outside for a closer look. Hail is still falling periodically at this point and could get him at any moment. Some of them landed with such impact that now they are buried deep into the ground, and if you have any doubt as to how much danger he was in, these are the holes in his roof from the bad weather. If it can do this to a roof, imagine what it could do to his head. It's common knowledge that animals are very sensitive to spirits. This woman's dog seems to have detected something supernatural near the stairs. Published by Exploring with Felicity in December of 2021, this scary video captured a mysterious full-body apparition on camera. After her dog wouldn't approach the stairs, even for his ball, Felicity set up a security camera to see what was going on. Here's what she found. In a corner of the hallway near the stairs, an apparition appears for a moment. It moves around and then disappears before reappearing again and turning in place. It looks like a woman with long hair or a veal wearing a long dressing gown. The apparition, dis the apparition disappears and reappears once more, much closer to the camera. But it looks like she's bent over this time and standing up, her hair hanging over her head. The image really gives me the chill. Is this a ghost nun, as some are suggesting in the comments? I'm not sure if that's the case, but whatever she is, she certainly doesn't seem very friendly. The Bassett Arms Pub in Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders, and arms. When I pause the video at the 7 second mark, then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. What are you afraid of? What can really make you scream? This entry was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The user explains that the clip was found on TikTok. Footage shows a guy sleeping at 1.16 in the morning with the text. He snores so loud. According to the video, the next night is shown subsequently. 
This time, the man is sleeping in a very awkward position, with his arms up in the air. Even stranger, the drawer from the bedside table appears to open of its own accord. A short time later, the man is in a new position, and as he turns over, if you focus on the nightstand, a bottle slides strangely sideways, falling on the floor. The man appears to be suffering from some evil spirit being exercised, as his body contorts aggressively on the bed. I don't know if this guy's just being a hole. He wanna shut the Stop. Hey, what the f Whoever is taking the video leaves the room, and when he returns, the sleeping man is kneeling in the corner. What's going on here? It is suggested could just be night terrors. Others lean more towards the paranormal, however. They suggest the man is possessed. What do you think? Paranormal activity? Possession? It is certainly baffling, and I think we need more footage to fully solve this mystery. A TikToker named Mark Anthony catches this strange activity at a post office after hours. Some kind of hanging display swings all by itself while an identical display stays still. I think it could just be blowing under an AC vent, but then again, in the very beginning you can see all of the other wall displays in the other doors stay still, so it is weird that out of all of these, only one moves. In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3rd, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. They appear to be sitting in a stairwell as they laugh, completely oblivious to what's going on around them. You see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. Walking home in the dark is never a treat. It's even worse if you cross paths with something like this. Posted to YouTube in February of 2018 by Rohit Mukherjee, this ghost sighting was caught on camera in India. The YouTuber writes that one of his uncle's friends captured the creature on camera while returning home late from work with a friend. He writes, As he was coming down the road, he heard some noises, mostly shrieks, and he thought it might be an animal or something. As he was looking around, he saw something on the trees and pointed his mobile camera towards it, and then he saw this mysterious creature. The footage does show a figure in the trees. It looks like a human outline. At first, you assume it's just some oddity in the shadows, but then it moves. After seeing this creature, the men say, Bug, bug, which means run, run. They then raced home and sent the video to Rohit's uncle. What do you think this figure could be? A ghost, an evil shadow, or some other strange entity? Or maybe it's just a monkey? A woman has a full-on break from reality while on public transportation. She carries a full conversation with herself in some sort of laughing tone that only she can understand. Then she becomes absolutely overwhelmed with grief before snapping out of it. <laughs> When someone approaches her to offer comfort, she switches back to laughter with a glare. The person wisely keeps their distance and does not come any closer. Next, the woman pulls out a dirty towel with stains and disappears into her own world, apparently laughing again. I really hope she gets the help she needs, because this seems like some sort of mental episode that needs to be treated fast. She and everyone around her are lucky that this didn't escalate to the point where someone had to physically intervene. A YouTuber named Conman165 has a somewhat scary moment on his gaming stream while talking about wrestling, something he thinks could be a possible ghost sighting caught on webcam. During the match, like you know what I mean? like. 
Did anybody else just see that? A small ghost orb moves his way and disappears. And if you look closely, the ghost orb blinks a little before it hits the middle of the door and goes away. I'm not saying that this ghost orb couldn't be dust. I'm just saying that nothing else like it appeared for the rest of the stream. And it's obviously something he's not used to seeing either based on his reaction. I saw like this white line run and just like fall down back here. That was weird. Hopefully Conman165 will keep us updated if any other creepy stuff happens. Does this creepy doll have special powers? Published by Indra Saputra Official in April of 2022. Something certainly happens inside this haunted place. Well, the camera shows that the couch is empty. When Indra backs up, look who is sitting in the darkness alongside the doll. Indra doesn't see the ghoul and casts his camera around. When he turns back to the sofa, the figure has vanished. Later, he opens the door and looks down the hallway. Is that her again? I don't want to stick around to find out. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Havoc Nova, this Redditor wrote, Walked into my office to start my work day and found this. And I can see exactly what he's talking about. Something is up with that cool Scarface poster. It's like an invisible hand is rocking the poster back and forth. Even when the Redditor tries to steady the poster, it continues to move. While well, some people like myself are first jumping to this office being haunted, not everyone is convinced. Laundry Ghost, he wrote in the comments, you need insulation in your walls. There's a small hole allowing a breezeway from the exterior wall to form. This phenomenon happened in our current house. It turned out it's because the insulation that was blown into the walls 30 years ago needed repairs and replacing. So what do you think? Is this office actually haunted? Or are these walls just in need of some more insulation? Who's doing this? And there is literally sounds coming in my basement right now, and it's freaking me out. Kids are upstairs asleep, and uh, I'm gonna go down and check right now. This is this is freaky right now because I rarely go in my basement. It's an unfinished basement. A YouTuber named an everyday Canadian has been afraid of his basement ever since he recorded an incident that he cannot explain. Oh. What the f is that sound? Fear grips his throat, but he knows what he must do. He'll never know what's causing the scary noises if his only reaction is to stand in the doorway. He knows he will be going down the stairs into the basement where a scary thing is waiting to be found. Like, I don't even want to go down there. Dark. Hold on, guys. Let me just get my light on here quick. Oh, this is freaking me out. He thought the only thing scarier than going down there would be not knowing what it was. He was wrong. I hate basements. My laundry machine just stopped. It's just me in the basement. What the f was that? What the Sometimes the source of a weird noise in your house is scarier than you can imagine. Sometimes going down in your basement results in witnessing paranormal activity that you wish you could erase from your camera and from your mind. And sometimes it's a toy on a string. This one's a real head scratcher. This redditor shared this video of a USB cable with a life of its own. Let's take a look. Let's see it again, slower this time.
The cord is still for about 20 seconds and then becomes active again. If you zoom in on the cable, it does look like there's something attached to it about two inches below the head. But you can't see the string, so I'm hesitant to say that's not just a reflection of light on the cord at certain angles. I can't offer a resounding verdict on this one. What do you think it is? A YouTuber named Chloe Constance travels to the haunted Morton Corbett Castle in England to put her ghost summoning skills to the test. First, they ask any spirits to make the candle flicker if they are nearby. The candle does indeed flicker, but it looks like it might have been edited, so I'm not sure how much time passes between her request and the flame's movement. I want you to flicker if somebody's there. But when Chloe tells the spirit to make a sound, this object flies by the camera. The pink object looks like a hand, but the question is, was it one of theirs? Only the person holding the camera is close enough to move her hand, so I guess it could have been hers, but I'm not sure. Still, if you slow down the video and look to the left, you'll see a bright white light appear as soon as Chloe says to make a noise. Look at her sister's pink sleeve to see it. Either way, they seem stressed out and call the video off. A YouTuber named LaxRebel225 is playing a video game at home when he hears something loudly bust through the front door. He's frantically looking from room to room when finally he hears it making a racket again, this time from the kitchen. When he crosses into the kitchen, nothing is to be found. Instead, he hears it again from behind. I'm not sure why he stomps his foot here. If he's trying to scare the creature away, it doesn't work. Lax Rebel does a full circle around his home and ends up standing just outside of the kitchen again. He seems to get a bad feeling and hesitates. That's when this inhuman noise fills his house. <laughs> The creature seems to say something in a chittering language that almost sounds like an evil laugh. Then it leaves his home, shutting the door behind itself. Maybe I'm just overthinking, but the alien's voice sounds very high quality, like way too good for the average YouTuber to edit into their video with home equipment. As much as I don't want to admit it, I think this video could be real based on the creepy laughter alone. Still, I'd definitely like to know what you think after watching this video. I'm especially looking for the opinions of people who have experience with audio engineering. <laughs> Two friends are driving down a quiet stretch of California Highway when they notice a man dressed in all black is standing in their lane with his back turned to them. What's weird is how he is standing on a well-lit highway close to the street lamps, yet not a single detail is visible. It's easy to see everything that's around him, but even the headlights of oncoming traffic are not enough to illuminate him whatsoever. I do agree with the uploader that this is strange, but I'm not sure if this means he is a spirit or not. Let me know if you think this was just a broken down motorist or an actual shadow person. This TikToker has documented her neighbor harassing her for months. The following clips are evidence of the terrifying stalking posted to TikTok by Maddie Panic. Maddie writes that she lives alone and she's reported this neighbor several times. In the first video, you can see her neighbor through her peephole waiting outside her apartment door. The video shows a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt getting very close to the door as though he's listening in. The man's mouth is moving, but what he's saying is inaudible. He quietly knocks on the door. After no one answers, the man backs up and waits there. Later, Maddie captures what we can assume is the same man trying her doorknob. You can see the knob shaking, but the door is locked. 
Maddie looks out the peephole again, and you can only see the top of the man's head, like he's down low, trying to hide from view, or maybe even trying to use tools to get in. You can vaguely hear him say he knows that she's here. Well, this video is scary enough. A second video turns our fear up a notch. The man apparently lives next door to Maddie, and he tried to smash a hole right through her wall. She captures the damage on video and reassures viewers that cops are on the way. Maddie turned this TikTok account into pure documentation of this stalker's behavior. Her latest video shows she is safe and now in a new apartment. Maddie's advice to other individuals who find themselves in a similar situation is to document every and protect themselves. This was truly one creepy neighbor. This video comes from the Kalovsky Airport in Russia. One of the planes loses all stability and wobbles unsteadily, trying its best to navigate a safe path through heavy air currents. The pilot continues to wrestle with the controls, which are becoming more unstable by the minute, and I think I see a small fire under the wheel. If he misses the runway here, there's no circling around for a second chance. The wings dip unevenly as the plane disappears behind the tree line. No one can see what is happening and they listen for the worst. A short while later, the plane miraculously emerges from behind the trees and touches down. The passengers get to live another day. Number Exploration Unknown is a Knoxville-based urban exploration channel run by a man named John Turner. First appearing on YouTube in 2016, he dedicates his time to venturing into creepy abandoned locations, from derelict home to former orphanages and asylums. His choice of location will often have a gruesome true story behind them, including the takings of life and other horrible events. Back in November 2017, John, along with friends James and Tim, returned to the abandoned Glendale Orphanage they previously explored. This time, their goal was to conduct the infamous 3AM challenge. In short, 3AM is considered the witching hour, the perfect time for hunting ghosts Almost right off the bat at the video start, John and the others have split up when a wooden board is seen falling on its own from behind a doorway. John goes to investigate, and much to his shock and slight bemusement, it turns out it was just James playing a joke on them. This appears to be in James's nature as he does so again when he slams a metal door shut. Scaring John so badly, he accidentally stops recording. Jokes aside, Tim soon begins to feel lightheaded after the trio go to the second floor and therefore decides to head outside for some air. Meanwhile, James and John continue to investigate the second floor, finding the normal things you would expect in an abandoned building graffiti, specks of dust, etc. When they descend the stairs back to the first floor, they are shocked to find Tim collapse on the floor, out cold. Down in the basement. I hope I got reception down there. Tim? Dude, you okay? Tim. Tim, dude. Tim, Tim. Bro, what are you doing? You okay, man? Thankfully, they were able to wake him, although he is clearly dazed and groggy. The reaction from John and James are of genuine concern and confusion, and Tim appears to be really out of it with a pale complexion. Deciding Tim's safety is more important, James and John help their fallen friend back outside and back to the car. Clearly shaken by the incident, John and James decide not to venture into the basement and instead, footage of their previous visit is shown. It is unknown what exactly happened, and no other paranormal activity can be seen in the footage, so it is undetermined if Tim was the victim of some sort of attachment. He does show the common signs of paranormal attachment, which often manifests as feeling lightheaded and nauseated, and can even lead to passing out. What could also be possible is Tim came under the effects of harmful dust in the building. Considering the age and state of the orphanage, it is possible Tim became overwhelmed by particles such as asbestos, a once common insulation that can cause damage to the lungs if breathed in. 
The fact that John and James were unaffected does cast some doubt on this theory, although it is still completely possible. Regardless, finding your friend unconscious on the floor of such an eerie location is certain to scare anyone. Thankfully, Tim was okay and apparently started feeling a bit better after resting by the car. With that said, the three decided to call it a night and left the location. John clarified in the video description and comments Tim was okay and recovered, as well as thanking those who expressed concern for his condition. On February 21st, 2021, John uploaded a director's cut of the original video, acting as a sort of commentary. John discusses his personal experience that night. He stated he felt concerned about Tim when he said he wasn't feeling good and expressed regret for not going with Tim to make sure he was alright. He also said he has received messages from people who had lived there during its operation, saying they actually had good experiences while residing there. They considered it a home with the staff taking good care of them. Comparing it to places such as Lechworth Village, it is a relief to hear good experiences about an orphanage as they can be notorious for negativity to put it mildly. When discussing the moment he and James found Tim, he said it looked as if he broke his leg. It is at this point John himself discusses a possible third explanation for Tim's condition. According to John, Tim had been up almost 30 hours at this point and had actually worked a full shift of work prior to joining the others. However, he also expresses Tim is sensitive to locations, including a time he collapsed at Skinwalker Ranch. This gives further support something had attached to him, but considering the positive remarks from former residents, it's hard to say what attached. It's good to know Tim turned out okay in the end, as these investigations can cause serious consequences. A YouTuber named Texas Savage has traces of paranormal activity left outside her bedroom door, or so she claims. Look at this part and tell me if you can see what she means, and if you can't see it, it's much more apparent in this next video of hers that I'm about to show. You can see it a bit better here, as she points out the individual fingers and notices the lack of a thumb. Here's one, here's one, and here's one, but there's no thumb. In this next video taken on a different day, you can get a better look at the handprints and see how long the fingers really were, far too big to be on her own. And since she claims to live alone, it can't be anyone else unless someone has been going into her bedroom without her knowing. On this day, she also finds some fresh scratches not too far from where the handprint is. And while inspecting the rest of her house, she finds two new marks at the bottom of her bathroom door that are perfectly aligned. Almost like eyes. If you don't think this is real, then what do you think caused this? Just like all of the other markings, she can recall nothing happening in this room to make them appear overnight. When the paranormal comes after you, do you stick around for more? Published by Han Kardisler, that's what this group did and they weren't disappointed. As the paranormal crew is searching an abandoned school, they find something frightening inside. They're in one room examining things when a sound is heard from the other end of the room. A moment later, a large beam of wood is shoved off a table to the floor. They cross the room, closer to the action. <laughs> And as they're talking, another large piece of wood comes flying at one of them from the door. Still, they remain in the room, as though nothing happened. Are these guys crazy, or are they unfazed because they're so used to this stuff? Whatever the case, they'd best run. The Phantom is getting more aggressive by the minute. In 2010, a man from South Jersey named Nick mysteriously went missing. His older brother Mark vanished shortly thereafter. Their small town was devastated by these back-to-back -back disappearances and feared the worst. 
There wasn't a shred of evidence for police to go off of, at least not until a few months later when one of Nick's high school acquaintances receives this mysterious post office package. Inside the package are memory cards and hard drives with hundreds of videos to analyze. Eerily enough, the return address was Nick's house, so either Nick sent this himself or someone else mailed it on his behalf well after his disappearance. Perhaps it was sent by whoever was responsible. A lot of the videos are typical teenage vlogging material you'd expect from 2010. Basic stuff like making a sandwich or watching TV. But on the other hand, there are at least 30 videos containing super creepy information relevant to his whereabouts, or should I say his possible remains. Let's retrace Nick's steps. On September 3rd, 2010, Nick goes to the notoriously haunted Pleasant Mill Cemetery in Batstow, Jersey to see what he can find. On the other side of an old bridge in the woods, he sees some 1800 burial markers and an old church that makes him feel creeped out. Though whatever he thinks he sees while standing on this bridge is what freaks him out the most. This is where voices are said to sometimes be heard on the water. Tell me if you see anything. I honestly can't say I see anything strange, but maybe something was there that didn't show up on camera. The video ends with him running back to his car looking very serious and scared, wide eyes and all, so he probably really did see something strange. He never wants to go back there again, but at sometimes the experience eats away at him until a week later on September 10th when he goes back to settle his curiosity once and for all, this time with his friend Austin. Night has fallen by the time they arrive. There's not much activity by the old church, so they walk over to the river. They don't hear anything and aren't really that scared, so they challenge each other to sit in the darkness under the bridge, the very same bridge where Nick first saw something, mind you. And as soon as their lights go out, they make contact. You hear that? When they turn their lights on to see what's out there, they see this broad goblin-like face looking back at them, soon followed by a splash of water, like something jumping at them, or else reaching up from the depths below. Away they run and away it follows. I don't know what this thing is, but since they've disturbed its home twice now, it decides to return the favor. What you're about to witness happened on the very same night. Nick sees movement behind this curtain wall and thinks it has to be his older brother Mark. It certainly looks like someone's hands, and yet no one's there. Suddenly it grows very cold where he's standing, cold enough to see his own breath, which is odd considering it isn't cold enough to see his breath when he's outside looking for Mark. They really should have stopped going there, but on September 18th they try again. This time after following these strange lights in the woods, they discover something they were never meant to have. This nondescript book has no title, but I want to know more about this strange binding. It looks like part of a protective ritual, or maybe even a curse upon whoever opens it without permission. Nick grabs it and they go get something to eat, and that's subsequently when they start getting followed even worse than ever before. By now, Nick and Austin have developed somewhat of an unhealthy obsession with the Pleasant Mill Cemetery. It scares them, but it also attracts them and they can't stop going. Maybe something there is enticing them to return. <sighs> something that wants its book back, and the more times they visit, the stronger its presence becomes at home. What? Tired of this. Wait. What the? When you look at the picture before it falls at 10 minutes and 28 seconds, I think it's a picture of Mark, the older brother who would soon disappear. 
On September 27th, Nick and Austin make a discovery that they seem to shrug off but I think is important. It's inside of an old house that they find not too far from the cemetery. The outside looks like it went ablaze a long time ago. Through a square hole in the floor, they spy an area that looks like it could have been a secret chamber when covered. They get a really bad feeling and don't want to go down, but Austin makes a simple observation that I think speaks volumes. Oh, it smells. All right, we're wasting time. We gotta go. It could be mold, or it could be a body that hasn't been disturbed in quite some time. Things get really crazy after they discover the possible body. By November 2nd, Mark is gone and nobody knows where he went. Nick goes back to the cemetery to look for his brother, and this final recording is what he finds. A tall figure with an all-white face marches toward him with a long tool in his hand. All I will say is that it looks like Nick sadly met the same fate as his brother. Some fast food places have hidden items on the menu that have to be special ordered, but I don't think that's what's going on during this horrifying moment caught on tape. Buried at the very bottom is what appears at first to merely be a piece of grated cheese, but is far worse than that. A disgusting yellow larva, soon to be a fly, wiggles hello at the camera. It's moving, man. He could always get his money back, but that's not the point. I don't see the taco anywhere in this video, so I assume that means it's been eaten already. Bugs and all. A YouTuber named Lanzo has a haunted ranch that he is afraid to visit. He knows at least one of the buildings is haunted because his uncle told him about a full conversation that he had with a strange man who said that he was a demon and then promptly and mysteriously disappeared right in front of him on the spot. Ever since then, the one acre property has been overrun with paranormal activity. Just from now, from that day and now on, it's always been like creepy for me and my cousin to come here at night. Thought I heard something that was scared. I. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? He hears scary whispering voices haunting the woods nearby and quickly shakes the thought away. But I think I might have heard the whispering voices too, followed by other scary noises that may or may not have been the wind. It's 3 a.m. and as they approach, they can feel the paranormal energy feeding off of their fear. Their equipment refuses to focus on one paranormal hotspot, and they know it's because a ghost is haunting them. Right there. What the f what the f you guys? And I'm gonna impact. Their night vision and motion tracking paranormal equipment detect a super tall figure standing in the same place they felt was haunted, and it's making the dogs bark like crazy too. The animals are familiar with Lanzo, so I think these pets are having a ghost sighting of their own. There's a figure right there. The dogs aren't even facing them, further evidence that something paranormal has their interest. Something's clearly back there. And even the horse seems to freak out as well. I feel sorry for all of the terrifying encounters that these poor animals probably have on a regular basis living on this haunted ranch. The horse begins moving frantically at 6 minutes and 58 seconds, and then they detect a ghost trying to climb some firewood to hitch a ride. The panicking animal sways back and forth to get away from the apparition, but to no avail. I don't know if this horse is freaking out over a ghost ghost sighting, or if it's just asking them for some food. This is a 3 a.m. video though, so I don't think the horse should be hungry. We noticed that there was a figure that was dancing with the horse like next to it. Like literally right there, you guys, like I'm getting the chills. I'm terrified right now. Behind this gate is where the dogs were barking at something, and that's when they get really scared because their paranormal equipment goes off again. I literally can't feel my feet, like. It's starting to detect something. They need to go around the building to see what's on the other side of the gate, but they hardly get a few steps before their camera goes out of focus. Over here. Ooh. 
course. And in the woods, they hear a really weird voice like laughter. When they consult their paranormal equipment for a translation, it interprets only one word. If there's anyone here with us, give us a sign. Goodbye. Oh my God, no. And it utters this phrase, a single ghost orb flies into them. I wouldn't be surprised if this ranch was haunted by skinwalkers after all. Skinwalkers are paranormal tricksters who will often haunt ranches built on ancient prairie lands. So with this in mind, a ghost sighting on this ranch would make sense. A store security cam in Malaysia has caught a ghost on tape, a strange figure that can teleport at will, and it's got the owners freaking out. I would be freaking out too. 55 seconds is when you can see there's nobody in these clothes. No chest, no head, no hands. Just clothes forming the outline of a person who isn't there. Then at 1 minute and 30 seconds, it sprouts a freaky gray featureless face. <laughs> And did you see that even scarier, more mysterious figure behind her? 1 minute and 26 seconds is when a much taller shadow figure with a red face appears behind her and then mysteriously goes away. This could be a possession, a ghost, or a demon sighting, or even a hostile takeover from another planet, but it could also simply be video editing. Oh, and of course, this creepy encounter happened at 3.14 in the morning, just 14 minutes shy of 3 a.m., a time when the supernatural world is said to fully open with our own. A YouTube channel called Rick Now TV posted this while traveling across the European countryside. He is recording a dreary meadow from a train when he spots an oversized figure standing at a distance in the fog. The fog creature looks like a silhouette and is gone within the short time it takes him to zoom in and refocus, but in the instant it's there. You can see that it is about the same height as a nearby tree and large well. Rick Now TV suspects that this is a ghost, but perhaps it's further evidence of Slenderman, the elusive tall and dark creature who is said to be able to change its shape, size, and appearance at will. Kevin LaShawn and his large group of friends feel fairly safe doing a 24-hour challenge in a mental asylum that's supposed to be haunted. They aren't expecting to find much, and for a while they don't. However, two experiments stand out in particular. First, they invite the ghosts to play a game of cards with them by setting up flashlights in a semicircle. The flashlights stay turned off during most of this experiment, but they do seem to repeatedly respond when one person in particular comes to the table. Perhaps this person has a natural tendency to attract spirits more than the others. I guess you don't want me to play any. Come over here, sit by me. They want you to play. These flashlights are turning on by themselves. Later, Kevin is playing with an app on his phone that is supposed to communicate with ghosts when he gets some pretty interesting responses. Is anybody in here? What's your name? My name's Kevin. What's your name? Even if this app is programmed to say scripted phrases at random intervals, I do think it's odd that it says something similar to Kevin's name. Shortly after he introduces himself, overall Kevin is unable to verify that this location is haunted, though many of his viewers have decided it most likely is. Let me know what you think about this entry and what other experiments Kevin and his friends could have done to summon any spirits. A YouTuber named Underwater Ireland explores a cemetery on a dreary day. Crows cackle loudly overhead like a warning not to go any further as she treads sacred ground. They look like perfect total 
Underwater Island looks down and notices that all of the markers have a wide gap. I have never seen any cemetery with this problem before, have you? If I didn't know better, it almost looks like the buried have been trying to claw their way out. She sets up some cameras and records overnight, and this is what she finds the next day. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There! Did you see that flash? And this is the same shot from a different angle. Also, notice how the gate opens here. Okay, so this frowning man wearing a helmet is what the image looks like when the video is stopped. Is this special effects? Or did a spirit really come face to face with the camera moments after opening the entrance? This YouTuber is recording the wall of his school when an all white face peeks out from around the corner. When he goes to investigate, the supposed spirit is completely gone. The spirit itself looks very blurry and is probably CGI. Although I could very well be wrong, maybe someone with more knowledge on special effects could give me more info. Maddie Smith is traveling to the airport with her friends Tyler and Tori when her Uber driver Tony displays some very strange behavior along the way. He makes a remark that immediately puts them on edge, and I wanted to get your opinion on how you would feel if someone randomly said this to you. God was telling him that someone in the car needed to be saved and we needed to figure out who it was. Shortly thereafter, he begins reciting scripture that could easily be taken as thinly veiled threats, especially coming from a stranger they've just met. He was a murderer. Many things that he would suffer. I personally think that he should have been able to see the rather obvious discomfort on Maddie's face and probably should have stopped this discussion, but he continues to steer the conversation towards his beliefs. He's been talking for a long time now, and Maddie hears the GPS telling him to turn around because they've missed their exit. She claims that Tony later admits that he was missing the exits on purpose. My question is if he wanted to simply ramble at them some more, or if he is blatantly taking them somewhere else. Watch this and you tell me. You can play church all your life. I never really understand what you're eating. Now that I think about it, this routine might have been a trick to get more money. They were too freaked out to do much about his ranting and ended up riding around with him for an hour and eventually they requested that he drop them off even though they were not at their actual destination. How serious do you think Tony was being and where do you think this conversation would have ended if Maddie and her friends had not stopped it sooner? Did you ever think maybe your child or younger sibling is possessed? This video was posted to Reddit with the title. No idea if this was the monitor or the kid is possessed. The video shows the demon baby standing at his crib, his eyes glowing red, a common occurrence in baby monitors, but it's the way he starts moving around that has the Redditor wondering if it's possession. The baby starts swaying back and forth rapidly before he holds very still and then turns his head all the way around unexpectedly. He then rests his head on the crib edge before sinking back down, hanging there, simply staring at the monitor. Other Redditors attempted to explain the possession. Jackal449 suggests footage lag from motion. Otherwise, most arrive at a general consensus that this is normal baby behavior. What do you think, normal or not? Whether normal or abnormal, seeing this in your baby monitor would be sure to creep you out, maybe even enough to make you scream. Hey Michael, is that you? This video, known to most only as Michael Is That You, has gone viral and spawned a ton of rumors and re-uploads. People are trying to figure out what this creature is and if it's ever been sighted before. One rumor is that the eyes look similar to a February 11, 2013 rake sighting video taken from somebody's backyard deep in the woods. Dude, there's some glowing eyes right there. The eyes are the same color and similarly spaced apart. It also holds its head roughly at the same angle, and like the Michael Is That You video, the eyes never once blink. On April 11, 2013, there was a second rake sighting from the same person. And once again, this does look similar to three seconds into the Michael video where the creature first turns around. 
Although this 2013 sighting remains an unsolved mystery to this day, the same cannot be said for the Michael Is That You video. I've gotten a lot of requests to analyze this scary video so I did some digging and here is my final analysis. While this video looks convincing it's not real, I did some research and was able to track down the original upload to a channel called Zulu Bao Productions. I know this is the original video because it's the only upload that shows exactly how it was made in a 3D rendering program. You can see the creature itself which isn't so scary. Once it stands up straight and loses those glowing green eyes. Once he does make the arms super long and thin and folds it into an unnatural position in the corner of the room. Do we get the creepy mysterious creature that went viral, added detailed skin texture and we're back to horrifying? I just wanted to give credit to Zach of this channel because so many people asked me to cover this video that I knew I had to find the original source and dispel the rumors. So the next time you see this video somewhere on the internet, you'll know it was fake. This was just something Zach did for fun and practice in his own words on December 18th, 2019. He never expected it to go viral but appreciates the recognition. I think he did a very convincing job, so good of a job that it is still sparking rumors and making its rounds on the internet to this day. A YouTuber named The Maniac sets out with his cousin to explore the back roads of Maine. Within five minutes a vehicle pulls up and somebody gets out while pointing at the ground. doesn't identify himself and he certainly isn't a police officer, so I think the maniac was in the right to try and get away. I will admit that they were going pretty fast earlier, so maybe that's why this person was so upset. Anyway, approximately two minutes later, they see him again but he is already turning with a car behind him and unable to swing back around. This time the maniac speeds by him for a final look and sure enough, the man is wearing the same grey shirt and watch as before. The maniac speeds off again before the man has a chance to get out of his car and try and make another attempt to stop him. Seva Solutions is a health and lifestyle YouTube channel with a video that's going to creep out anyone eating an apple right now. For those of you who don't know, grocery stores actually will cover apples in literal wax to make them look shiny and therefore more appealing to buy. That means every time you bite into an apple, you're potentially eating wax. This YouTuber has created a method of getting the store wax off and wait until you see what it looks like at the end. First, she jabs an apple and runs lemon juice around the outside to loosen the wax bond. After that, she pours boiling hot water over the apple to fully remove the substance. After a few minutes of turning and pouring, she is finally finished. So as you can see, this is all of the just waxy stuff that came off of the apple. It's pretty gross when you think about that that's what you consume when you just think you're eating a nice healthy apple. This sludge at the bottom of the bowl is what the wax looks like once it comes off. Pretty gross, huh? It's definitely not something I want to eat. This video made me curious about organic apples, so I did some research and yes, they have wax on them too. Apparently the wax has been made out of a special organic substance, but I would rather they not do this at all. This video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. You make sure that's zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. I want you to see Look that. that. You missed Look it. At that. Oh, good, good job. Buddy. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting. Yes. Yes, okay. there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. A YouTuber named Ben S is low on gas so he pulls into a nearby station. He always wears a GoPro helmet when riding. 
and as he is fumbling with the card reader at the pump, it records something that he will have a tough time explaining later. A shadow passes by close enough to make Ben react. He turns around only to find nothing. What's really strange to me is how, if you pay close attention, you'll see the shadow disappear before it even makes it all the way across the pump. It's going from left to right normally and then suddenly vanishes somewhere in the middle. I know that shadows can sometimes play tricks on you, so I'm not going to say that this is 100% paranormal. If you have a scientific explanation as to how this could have happened, please share. Until then, I am inclined to take Ben's word that this was a phantom figure. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.